Вітання з українського кризового медіа-центру. We greet you from Ukraine Crisis Media Center, now spokesperson of Communities Project, and we discuss important issues concerning local government, and we try to get information about the efficiency of the reform. As of today in Ukraine, we have 710 territorial communities. This process is ongoing, and the state delivers resources and responsibilities at um, grassroots level, and also the responsibility for the decisions. And this is happening because local power um, based on community that uh, elected them. They know better what should be done at a local level to provide proper standards of living for the residents. And today in our program, spokespersons of communities, we are going to speak about the uh, government's decision to make lands outside of settlements uh, in uh, uh, the communal property. And also is there a life after participation in the community for a million project and will the story of the creation of Skala Padilska community's unique product continue and we invited the village uh, head of uh, Skala Padilska community Viktor Miranchuk uh, so recently the government adopted the decision according to which the lands uh, outside of settlements are provided to communal properties uh, uh, for communities. So uh, what was the reaction of uh, the community and was the work started in this direction? I cannot tell about the community. I can tell only about myself and the Oblast administration. They provided us with the memorandum. We got this memorandum. So practically step by step, uh, according to the line, we will get to the lands that are outside of our settlement. So. Uh, we do not have a euphoria about it because uh, this is only one stage and this getting of this land, it won't give a big drive, but uh, uh, I uh, would like to put a plus to our government, to our Premier Groisman for uh, doing this. So uh, why there's no euphoria? Because at the moment those lands they are not one plot. They are a separated plots of lands uh, that are throughout the territory. Uh, so we would be able to attract investment, but at the moment uh, we can only get information. We try to find out uh, about the land plots, about the cost of these land plots, how we can manage these land plots. But uh, uh, my view and the view of the deputies is that uh, these lands uh, will be resources for investment, for attracting of investment. This is not just for uh, communities. These lands should attract investment, and these uh, <coughs> lands are the means for getting the investment. And uh, do you calculate what uh, will you be able to get in terms of land resources, as we know? Um, Oh, uh, this is uh, 1,070 hectares of land, and uh, there are different estimates, but uh, I'm aware w that uh, uh, what is given, uh, this is the do this doesn't mean that this is only positive thing. We should understand uh, in what way we can change the purpose of use of this land. and. Uh, there is no euphoria, but uh, there is a wish to work in this direction, to work with these lands and uh, with the resources of the community. Let's go back to the period before the creation of Skalapadilska community in 2015. At that time, there were six uh, councils. These are 12 settlements. They joined in one, in one community. And in order to understand what happened, uh, we would like to know how these uh, settlements lived uh, before the unification and uh, what changed uh, as of today. Uh, so uh, the situation before and after unification, it is difficult to compare these situations. Uh, so I uh, was uh, the head of the um, uh, Council from uh, uh, 2006 to 2010, and we were 
the first who put the money on deposits and uh, we wanted to do something for Skalopadilska and uh, we had the budget and we cannot compare those bu budgets uh, before uh, the unification and uh, uh, we had only five million and uh, in the first year of unification uh, we uh, had to 12 and then 17 we had 14 and now we have the plan to have uh, more than 15 up to 16 uh, uh, million so we increased our budgets and we can uh, do uh, things that are necessary for the community and uh, due to new taxes we got new revenues and we got new challenges the implementation of the uh, rights concerning educational health care and communal issues should be resolved so the budget is good, but we should uh, continue. We have many challenges. We have to address uh, the implement those budget. So uh, we will going to speak about the budget and uh, the increase of the budget and the tasks also. The number of tasks increased, and many of the deputies said that uh, uh, they started with the uh, infrastructure. It repair uh, works uh, in uh, kindergarten schools uh, and other facilities and what are the priorities of your team now so i'm not a doctor and uh, uh, i have such an opinion some people say that reforms are positive or negative but reform uh, this is like surgery to the organism. If the state is considered an organism, this uh, reform is help. And uh, we believe that we are in delay with our reforms uh, for 25 years. So this, uh, um, so uh, at that time we were able to treat it with pills, but now we should uh, have a surgery. Do we have uh, chances? Yes, we have, uh, but uh, uh, time is running out, and now we are trying to uh, bridge those gaps uh, that we uh, sh should have uh, done many uh, times before. So um, we are aware that the. Uh, subsidy it won't last forever and we should use it where the, uh, where it is the most needed we understand that some expenses uh, we cannot avoid some expenses and if we have them we should minimize them we are speaking about uh, the shift to uh, renewable energy. Uh, we uh, created a plan to shift to uh, the solid uh, um, fuel we uh, but boilers and we set them and also uh, plastic windows this is the means to uh, save energy and uh, uh, also at the moment we need to think how to use our resources efficiently and uh, whether it is done efficiently it uh, the our residents will judge uh, on this so you said that uh, government uh, uh, subsidy uh, won't last forever it will end and uh, um, so it is evident that the community should think uh, about the prospects uh, how to increase uh, the revenues to the budget and uh, uh, what about the directions uh, of work maybe you've elaborated in your community some strategy concerning this uh, so i would like to say about this and uh, uh, in the west the situation so we have um, a catastrophic situation in our region so there is lack of uh, places of work and absence of people so some people they uh, got uh, educated but the salary is inadequate and uh, talented youth uh, um, massively uh, go uh, to other places and uh, we should create conditions in order that people stay in the community and we should create uh, places of employment we do not have enough funds to uh, create them and we should bring investors and I am aware that uh, in this uh, situation that is now in our country the community cannot say that uh, 100 percent depends on the community because uh, 
the investor should come and the, the investor should know that uh, the capital will be protected and um, we at the moment at our community we are ready to accept the investor and uh, uh, to um, in order to uh, have uh, mutually beneficial cooperation we uh, not just waiting for some um, good person who will come and give us something but we wait for someone uh, who will create employment and uh, will get benefit from it and uh, this benefit should be mu uh, mutual uh, so um, yes it is important to attract uh, investor but also you should grow your own investor and I didn't say that uh, this investor should be from somewhere else. Uh, uh, there is no difference who this investor is, whether it is uh, um, from outside, from Cyprus, or from other offshores, or uh, if it is a uh, domestic investor. Many countries, uh, they uh, um, uh, believe that the future uh, and the future of our community uh, is in this area. We, have, uh, we should develop tourism and small business, but at the moment, uh, our people are not able to pay and the situation the problem is in order uh, to uh, uh, have something you should uh, uh, be provided with proper funding but you are near the big road and uh, uh, yes we should develop our uh, internal reserves we have uh, wonderful picturesque territory wonderful place and uh, we have historical places and we have wonderful water and we are obliged and we are doomed for the development of tourism in, uh, in our area. What is done now, uh, what is done is not enough, I will be honest. But we adopted a strategy, and one of the goals of the strategy is to develop tourism. And I uh, would like to say that um, I don't believe that tourism will bring a lot of money and uh, will open uh, new working places, but it will um, have an indirect influence. And uh, those uh, small entrepreneurs, they will provide development, and this will provide an uh, incentive for the whole community. So you've said uh, about the fact that people are not able to pay, that there is lack of personnel, that many people go abroad. And I would like to find out about the instruments. What uh, should the government provide? What instruments should the government of, uh, should the government provide in order that people would be able to move forward? Maybe you should cooperate more with the, uh, other communities, uh, neighboring communities, to create some tourist cluster. Yes. Uh, about uh, cooperation, this is a good aspect, and we are working in this direction. We have several ideas in, in order to uh, cooperate not only in Ternopolshina, and uh, I know that uh, uh, in Ternopolshina we do not have such uh, uh, roads, and I believe that uh, Skalpadilska uh, will uh, actively participate in uh, this activity. So we want to cooperate not only in the framework of the region, we have cooperation with Khmelnytsky community and also we um, carry out joint events and I believe that and in this case uh, we uh, uh, going to cooperate for further uh, with the communities from other oblasts. So the, there are many opportunities and we should use them in order to make the lives of people successful in our, our community and we should search for these opportunities and use them. So one of the indicators uh, of the comfortability of life is the quality of uh, provision of um, administrative services and uh, accessibility uh, for people. So I know that uh, your center, uh, so there is only state registrator, there is no um, administrative services center. So you've said it correctly, we work in this direction and uh, now there are five communities in our oblast that participate in uh, the contest and there is a uh, big probability. We do not know whether we are going to win, but we hope that we will win this contest. And this contest 
is the development of uh, the center of uh, serv administrative services in our community and the ministry uh, uh, of um, uh, we sent uh, the documents to the ministry. We have uh, proper specialists, and we believe that uh, we will have the center in our community because uh, communities were created in order to bring the services closer to people. And uh, I'm aware that uh, this function is not implemented uh, here, but uh, we have the registrator, and we um, record could every copic we earn, for example, we have earned uh, 9,000 in this period. So uh, the more services we will be able to provide, we, the more money we will get for our community, and we will increase the number of uh, the services, and we will bring these services uh, closer to people. So in the territory of the community, uh, there are helpers. Uh, so there are five uh, headmen. And, uh, uh, what are their role? What are their participation in the pre development of the community? And how do they defend the interests of the villages that they represent? Maybe we are a unique community. Maybe there are others. But we have uh, a really good cooperation between the residents and the headmen who um, represent uh, their um, Villages. So we have two girls and three guys, and the headmen, they try to be uh, useful in the areas that uh, they are provided with, and they uh, uh, should bring information and the problems to the officials. And I believe that uh, uh, maybe we didn't reach such a level that we, uh, so some in some villages, uh, some villages may be not neglected, but uh, they have less attention uh, towards them. So we are going to correct it because we should pay uh, equal attention to all the villages. So uh, to uh, young people, they participate in a Dobre project, and uh, um, maybe uh, there are uh, and uh, there are many, many people who um, attend courses. We learn, we uh, want to learn, and we are going to learn further uh, in order to improve the conditions uh, in our community. And uh, I would like to ask you about the education area in your community. I have read that in, you have uh, uh, schools with not enough pupils, and this is not pleasant uh, question both uh, for <coughs> the uh, leader of the community and for the inhabitants, community members, how to provide uh, high quality services of education. I am a teacher of history and geography, so the education area problems are close for me. When the community was formed, we tried to address the education issue the, so that the education provides benefits to the children and that the reforms are balanced, well balanced. Uh, why I have changed uh, my view? When at the beginning of the reform I was 100% follower that the village school uh, means live uh, village, now I think so too, but I am uh, aware of uh, provision of different quality of knowledge at schools. If schools uh, are providers of services of uh, education, then the approach to reforming of schools is well balanced at our community. Uh, we have not enough resources and we need to repair our school buildings and we should switch uh, to other types of fuels uh, and boiler rooms, uh, boiler houses at schools. Yes, you are right. Uh, we have the base school. And uh, at this base school, uh, we uh, would like to to improve quality of educational services. We are also built in a kindergarten. Uh, we will install a new boiler house there. Uh, 
we analyze what we are doing we analyzed which school is most um, spending the the most of funds and uh, uh, we have monitored where the consumption of energy is the highest so this uh, uh, school would be provided a new boiler house so within five years seven years uh, the equipment will pay back uh, I do not have enough knowledge uh, in energy area and uh, in the area of borrowings. If we can borrow, it would be good because subventions are not enough. Uh, we monitor the situation which school uh, needs what reforms and so on. The same concerns may be the medical uh, sector. We were one of the first who have reformed the healthcare system. We have established a territorial uh, association and uh, we got the license because our uh, medicians are high uh, quality professionals uh, according to the assessment score. Our assessment results we saved uh, uh, 200,000 krivnas for uh, purchase of equipment. Now we, uh, the problem of healthcare system is the most uh, painful. We need very much money. Uh, uh, we hope that the reform of healthcare system in our state as well as in our community uh, will be successful. We need to balance the number of personnel, the quality of services and the needs of our community. And I think that the deputies, the community, the rather of deputies uh, will develop the well-balanced approach and we will not have any uh, civil uh, d disturbances. The state provided 5 billion grievances for rural uh, medical system, healthcare system, so maybe Skalapadiska community may take efficient uh, uh, and uh, extensive role in this uh, program. Well, we heard about this five billion, but uh, they still uh, have not come to us. And if they come to us, we will spend them uh, uh, duly. Uh, the process of forming uh, the network of primary aid is at uh, the first stage and you should be a participant. Yes, we have already started working on this uh, initial health care system uh, establishment and we hope the quality of our services in our community will be uh, the one of the best. Kalapadinska community is one of uh, participants in the uh, community family and uh, TV projects. Kalapadinska community uh, did not won, uh, but this is not uh, uh, the Idea. The yeah. failure. How your participation in this project uh, influenced uh, your community? Uh, truly speaking, uh, our uh, community became united upon uh, those castings and TV show. Uh, we understood uh, not much uh, what it would look like. Million is not uh, much. Uh, we didn't g get this million from the TV project. We got much more. Uh, we understood, uh, we got knowledge that we can unite, that we can uh, in uh, uh, internal resources. Uh, everything which happens, it happens uh, uh, in uh, in time. So, uh, 
Of course, uh, we were upset that we uh, lost, but we got knowledge of who we are and where we go, and uh, we got ensure, assured that we were smart, and this is really was much. And the other mm, people also saw Skalapadiska community, how Ukrainians uh, responded, maybe some people visited you 600 uh, autographs uh, I uh, gave to people yes there were phone calls uh, uh, from even from Canada uh, from my classmate uh, I have never, um, could never imagine that so many people would watch this show. First of all, we try to demonstrate the nature, the architecture, the attractiveness of our uh, motherland, of our native uh, village. Uh, we hope that... Uh, Investors would come to Skalapadilska community and we will get benefits thanks to investments. Uh, uh, after such uh, large-scale publicity, your community should become uh, uh, the best practice community and you have managed to, to found uh, the unique product uh, to manufacture in your community, this is your uh, deep wa well water uh, which you now bottle. I uh, was uh, I, I tried to be diplomatic now I would like to be more specific. I'm sure that our product was one of the best in this TV show. Uh, the costs were the among the lowest, and but uh, the marketplace was the widest. Uh, the question is, uh, we didn't, uh, we have not told our last word yet. Uh, I, I believe, I believe that our scala deep well water has a future we saw what we can do and we saw our mistakes uh, what we should improve we have a half brand already and we will not stop i think and uh, i suppose it uh, uh, ukraine now knows about scala water and uh, uh, it will hear about it in future if uh, we uh, return time back would you uh, take part again in this project if we have the invitation we would have uh, participated upon uh, consultations with the community members uh, uh, some people experience panic uh, I think that we have not made a mistake that we took part in this TV show if the uh, there are any uh, similar projects which uh, can provide even indirect benefits to Skalapadiska community. Yes, you have not made a mistake uh, and uh, when you took part in this show and uh, when you um, took part in the reforms process and what would you say to those who do not uh, um, haste those who are uh, in the po waiting position maybe some people do not believe in the reform I, um, one head man told me uh, just uh, do something and you will see the results uh, many heads of communities do not believe in uh, 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 the reforms many uh, heads uh, of communities they think that they live good they, uh, and there are many people uh, who are 
afraid that they can lose their positions to head uh, heads of uh, villages who do not reform not the heads lose uh, but the community members lose there is no objective alternative uh, uh, we got not only many positive uh, uh, facts uh, but we have managed to, to respond to the challenges uh, the we and uh, me in person and community members i suppose they do not uh, uh, think that they made the mistake when they started reforms nobody will help us except us uh, if we wait until some other western or eastern uh, friends will show us examples or give us assistance uh, this is no good way there is no uh, other way uh, except uh, uniting let's build ukraine we want to see are there any questions uh, in among the audience no questions maybe everything understood everything thank you mr victor for your uh, so interesting speech and dialogue uh, uh, we talked to victor miranchuk uh, the village mayor of skalapadiska community